Welcome to Hope Family Customer Center. How may I help you today? Hi, I'm Mindy. I'm here for a 10 o'clock appointment with Dr. Gonzalez. I'm a new patient of hers. Hi, I'm Savannah. I'm here for my 12 o'clock appointment with Dr. Gonzalez. Hey, Odalis. Nice to see you again. How's the husband? How's the kids? Oh, right. Sorry. Um, I'm here to see Wendy at 2. A little late, like always. Sorry. Oh, Julia, obviously. Great, she's ready for you. So what brings you in here today? My anxiety levels are through the roof. I'm gonna lose it if you can't help me. I just can't seem to form a long-lasting habit that will help me get healthy again and prevent me from becoming diabetic. Come on, Wendy, you know why I'm here. I'm trying to get a new liver. So, one liver, please. Okay, so what is currently stopping you from reaching your goal? I have way too many assignments due in a short amount of time. I work 40 hours a week and I can't work less hours because I need to pay for school. I know I need to exercise daily, eat healthy, take my prescriptions, but it's been difficult. This, that's why I came to see you. I've been stuck in my ways for years doing the same unhealthy things. And look where it got me. Now I need to change everything at once and it's been pretty overwhelming. Ugh, well, I don't know. I know I'm not supposed to drink to get a new liver, and I haven't. I really haven't. It's just, sometimes it's hard, you know? And I know I can't live without a liver, but sometimes it feels like I can't live without the bottle either. Okay, so what are some things that you enjoy doing for fun? Uh, reading books, writing, Netflix, I guess. Um, I like to hang out with family, but I don't have enough time in the day. I barely even have time to do homework, let alone to do extra fun stuff. Watch TV, eat food, and just relax with my family. My job is time consuming and stressful. Why would I want to go exercise and eat healthy? I deserve a treat or two after the long, hardworking day I have. I don't want to cook or do much of anything after. Then I forget to take my medicine because I'm running late. Mm, I like hanging out with my friends, shooting pool. I got a really good at pool after I quit drinking. Uh, going to shows, watching games. You know, I guess I just really go where my friends go. And it doesn't help that they're constantly drinking. But you know, I manage. Very good. So last question. Who are some people that are helping you during this difficult time? I usually turn to friends and family, but they have their own lives too, you know. Everyone has busy different schedules. So you know, I get it, don't get me wrong. I know they'd be there for me if they could be. Thank God for cigarettes though. My boyfriend, he does his best to remind me to take my meds, tries to cook often and get me to work out. That's a struggle, but he can't babysit me forever and he shouldn't have to. He has his life also and shouldn't be worrying about me all the time. I wanna know what I can do to change my old habits for better ones. Well, my girlfriend used to help me a lot. No, sorry, ex-girlfriend. Yeah, she's really good at keeping me at bay. Or was, sorry. Okay, Mindy, please take a seat. Now, I want you to sit down, close your eyes. I want you to relax. Sit up straight, keep your feet apart. Place your hands on your lap. And now I want you to take in a deep breath for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now release that breath for five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now open your eyes. How do you feel? I feel a little better. I kind of feel a little sick though. Mm -hmm. So you just mentioned that you're feeling pretty sick, right? Well, this is probably because your stress is activated by your hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. That basically controls your body's stress and hormones. Um, I remember you saying that you enjoyed watching Netflix, right? So how about next time you have a lot of homework, you have a long day at work, you decide to take only 30 minutes and you really just indulge yourself in that time to spend by yourself. Sounds good. I heard they added zombie land. I can catch 30 minutes of that. That sounds fantastic. Savannah, did you know that 75 to 90% of doctor visits are caused by stress? You need to learn to match that.
I didn't know that. What do you recommend I do? You mentioned that your boyfriend and family are very helpful and supportive. So, exercise is actually a stress reliever, and stress takes care of the first step in managing your health. Maybe go on a date, go with your boyfriend on a hike, go to the gym together. We really need to follow the A, B, C, D, S. A, activity increase. B, behavior change. C, cognitive change. D, dietary change. And social support. Lucky for you, you have your social support down, so you really need to use that as a resource. Julia, why do you drink? To be frank, it's because it's so much better than being sober. Life is hard, especially now that my ex moved out. Honestly, I wish I could just socially drink like everyone else, but once I drink one, I can't stop the next and the next. Just the more I drink, the more the pressure that lays off, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, Julia, you need to find a more positive way to relieve that stress. I believe you have previously mentioned that you like to go shoot to the pool, right? Um, maybe next time you crave alcohol, that you really want that bottle, you just say, hey, let me go shoot some pool. Maybe you decide that you want to call a friend, you can go out with them. But most importantly, know that you are not alone. Um, many people are facing this problem and dependence on alcohol. I recommend you seek social support. How about we set you up with an AA group? Okay, Doc, that sounds good. Hi honey, how was work? It was exhausting. You know, I have my regular and she just, oh, thank you. And she just constantly is there not understanding that she really needs to make a change in her life. Mm -hmm. This is the good wine too. I just wish that she understood that her drinking is stopping her from accomplishing so much. Then I have another patient and she's trying to accomplish too much. Mm. I mean, she's sick out of her mind every single day because of the stress. And she even smokes cigarettes. And you know that how that doesn't help. That sounds stressful. Here, love. Oh, is it the flavor that I like? It's uh, that ganja. Ooh, ganja. Then another patient is also having health problems. Ugh, she's a pre-diabetic. Make it even worse. And her blood pressure is through the roof. I hope I can help her understand that she needs to cut back on that delicious junk food, but you know, she just needs to be more active also and like do some physical exercise, but oh, I don't know. Honey, I'm hungry. Um, why don't I order us a Meat Lovers Extreme and you can tell me all about your day over Mine Hunter and Netflix. Oh, that sounds relaxing. Hmm, need more wine. Can't wait to have more Meat Lovers pizza. about scheduling me for less hours that way I have more time to study and I've been spending 30 minutes each day watching Netflix. I'm almost done with season three of Riverdale. It's been a struggle but I'm committed. For the behavior changes I feel like I'm making the right steps and I've seen improvement and some solid habits forming. I have an alarm set to take my prescriptions every day and have them organized in containers to remind me which one I need each day. I want to get better. I'm really seeing how stress and being lazy has been affecting me. So I've been looking into different workouts and meal plans that fit into the schedule I have. I have a better outlook now on getting and staying healthy. It's an important part of my daily life now. And of course, my boyfriend and family have been helping me along the way. This is Dr. Gonzalez. Leave a message at the beep. Hey Doc, um, I'm kind of struggling right now. This, this is stupid, but this breakup is a lot harder on me than I thought. I'm at a party and everybody's passed out and there's a full bottle of Jameson in front of me. And you know how that's always been my favorite. 
God, I'm sorry for calling, but I just think I might do something completely stupid and I didn't know who else to call. Call me back, please. Bye, Doc. Oh my God, I am so sorry for being late. Jesus Christ, traffic was crazy. Ugh. Whew, but... Do I have some good news for you? Oh my god, you're gonna be so proud of me.